Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to the month of June, 2022. This is going to be a general read on what the universe wants you to know, but we'll break it down week by week, and uh, we're going to throw in some wisdom cards uh, for you know every single week. So uh, do keep in mind that if you are looking for a career, money, finance, or perhaps a love read, you're going to see that right at the end of this video, okay? So let's dive in and see what's happening in June for you, Aries, all right? Woo, lots of stuff happening here, okay? So I'm feeling it in the cards. I was feeling it even in the pre-shuffle as well, all right? So let's take a look at the first week for Aries. What do we get, okay? We've got some sort of disappointment in regards to a situation. What is this coming out all this way? Here we go. Let's just take a look. So what do we have here? Um, so we've got the uh, Five of Cups, the Two of Cups, and then we've got the Nine of Pentacles. There's some sort of disappointment within a love relationship or in a situation that's coming through. Maybe there's some sort of adversity in coming together in a, in a connection with someone. And uh, I feel that you might be taking on perhaps, uh, you know, a, a an energy of just, you know, focusing on you. Okay. So that could be the case for some of you. Maybe there was some sort of disappointment, you know, within a situation, but this is focusing on on what it is that you don't want rather than what you do want so you know, just be careful of the thoughts that are happening in terms of your emotions right and for some of you it could be working through something uh, maybe there was a uh, you know in terms of an opportunity to see eye to eye with someone okay uh, and then I get the nine of Pentacles uh, nine of Pentacles is all about you know being very independent and very grateful for where you're at in deep gratitude of where you're at it's that uh, um, very much kind of that energy so in love luxury as well. So I feel that maybe you could have been disappointed in terms of a partnership or an agreement and then it, it, it left you to where you're kind of on your own. And this could have been a job loss. This could have been a partnership situation. You're going to know what that feels for you. Um, yeah, but that's what I'm getting. Like the fifth house, fifth house has to do with uh, maybe something in terms of your um, I don't know, something that maybe that has to do with some sort of romance and emotion, right? And then I get the two, which might have to do with even the second house. And that has to do with your resources, your values. You're really coming eye to eye and saying, hey, these are my values. This is what I want. And this could be that you might be approaching someone that way, or this could be you in terms of uh, reaching some sort of agreement uh, with a, in, in terms of a situation, do we emotionally feel the same way is what I'm getting here. Uh, and then I get the nine of pentacles. So interesting again, and if you're not in a, a relationship or something, this could be a contract of some sort, but I get some sort of independence and being very grateful for where you're at Aries, really grateful for where you're at. Um, let's take a look at what cards do I want to pull? There's specific cards I want to pull here, here they are. Okay. Here they are. So I do want to see anything else that might want to come out. In terms of this, let's just say this uh, five of cups. What is this regarding? What do we get here? The next step. Wow. This is requiring you to do a little bit of lifting to that next step because there's doors that are opening of success to you. And this is an opportunity of moving to that next step. Now, this could be in a relationship. This could be going that next step of what you've always wanted to do in your work. Uh, but this is what's coming through. So whatever is happening the doors or the path is opening up the runway is clear and aries is ready to take flight right so this could be what what's coming through here now some of you are are kind of doing that next step in something you're going to know what this is guys okay but there's a next step in a relationship or in work or in something that is that is happening here let's pull a uh wisdom card on this um and i want to see what may want to come out here let's take a look at what that is so what do we have uh, first week in terms of June 2022 for Aries. What do we get? Ooh, this might have to do with intimacy, guys. Wow. This is a 35 card, and the 35 card reduces to eight, and that is equal give and take in terms of intimacy. So this is like two people coming together. You could be coming together with someone, guys. Yeah, this is about being vulnerable, right? Really opening up and being vulnerable. Wow. It, it's your key. It's your key, Aries, in terms of growing spiritually for yourself, okay? So you might have in a situation, you might have to share yourself openly um, without defensiveness and um, let the barriers down that you've had from another person. Just let yourself experience the situation experience the life and see what happens right so there's like this this there's some sort of intimacy that's happening um it's like you expect nothing 
and then all of a sudden you would, you uh, receive everything. You know, it's kind of like one of those things. Maybe that's what I'm going to call your video, but this is what's coming through here. But yeah, wow. If you've recently opened yourself up to new ways to meet, you know, someone else, to meet the world, to open up to the divine, you're going to know what this is or to, to go that next step in, in whatever that is. Um, consider doing it, uh, do it because you're ready to be seen and you're going to be received like never before. This is so cool. So this is what I am seeing for you here, guys. I, I don't know in a relationship or something, it's looking really, really good. Let's take a look in terms of week two. Note your comments guys and smash that like button if this resonates with you. Okay. Let's take a look at what, uh, anything else that's coming through for the second week in June. All right. So some of you got something to look forward to, okay, which is really good. All right, so what do we get? Uh, putting something to an end, getting rid of the burdens, and then you're having choices that you're making. Okay, interesting. So you've got the uh, Ten of Swords, and what's so interesting is you've got the Ten of Wands. You're letting go of something within the head that kept you stuck, and you're letting go of the burdens and the energies associated with that. So it's like you're so free to make the choice, a, a choice that you want. This is having choices. And, you know, look at this, 10 tens. So it's like in terms of reasoning and in terms of, of moving forward, in terms of like your, your creativity, you're letting things go. And it's bringing forth so many choices for you. So you maybe could have had anxiety, depression, or despair, and you've worked your way through it. You said, okay, that's enough. That's that's done. I know when that comes up and I know what to do. And I've seen that before. So I know when it creeps up, but this is letting go of the burdens of that of which held you back before. So your passion is totally open. You have so much more energy and I'm excited for you Aries because it's bringing forth choices. And now you've got an opportunity to choose which way you want to go. Okay. So in work, you might have choices. You're going to do something that is emotionally fulfilling for you, or you're going to choose someone that is emotionally fulfilling or a direction that is all right. Because the, this is a seven of cups sevens you know this is interesting because this has to do with an opportunity for getting rid of any sort of fantasy or illusion uh, in terms of your situation right so you're clearing the cobwebs out of that i'm gonna pull one more card for you here because i'm just curious cancer scorpio pisces energy the horn keeps honking so it must it must want to come to your attention get rest maybe there's some sort of rest uh, that you're taking uh you're taking a breath before you move on to that next step uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy so it's about taking a breath uh, and that you're getting like a break so you can see any sort of illusion I don't know guys so there's someone that's honking the horn but this must be important get rest before you know you're, this rest that you're getting or that you might be experiencing here within this second week is going to help you make better decisions in moving forward so this is super key all right so yeah I just have a feeling that you're just putting uh, something to rest in terms of the mind that held you back. Therefore, it opens up energy. The runway is clear and you've got choices that you're able to make. And this is saying, take your time in making those choices. All right. Uh, anything else in your second week? What do we get? Yes. To confront, to actually confirm that this is mindfulness. And what I feel that is happening there is, is that you are really taking a look about how your thoughts are coming through, right? You're being very mindful of your thoughts and how your thoughts are dictating your situations in life. And you are being in the moment and mindful and looking at a situation without judgment, right? And you're meditating, you're breathing, and you're being present uh, and just being full of grace in this moment. Wow. I mean, this is really beautiful, Aries. You really, you, you are really taking that moment to, to take a tectonic breath to before you express or before you move forward in something. And you're being very mindful about this. And what else do we get? <gasps> the Christ flame. This is interesting, guys. I do not get this. Oh, I barely ever get this card. I think I've only got it once before. So this is a flame within you, okay? So this is... Uh, this is beyond any religion, okay? I'll let you know. It's beyond any religion or any sorts. It talks about the divine, right? Whatever that is for you. This is greater closeness to the divine. Something is opening up for you 
for your greater good to get in touch with the universe and your spirit and your soul. And you're doing some introspection, some meditation and yoga to raise your vibration. And in doing so, this is like you're choosing wisely of which companies that support you and that you want to keep around you, right? Uh, and you're, you're not watching things or doing things that will clog or uh, upset your energy. You're totally clearing your energy, okay? In a beautiful, beautiful way, right? And you are creating the life that you desire, right? You're taking a vote and choosing that of which you want within your energy or energetic, uh, you know, uh, sphere, right? And whether it's internal, external, or your actions, you're being ignited with the flame in you and the flame of divine love. Wow, this brings you guidance that you are uh, you are uh, awakening and you are awakening of what's happening on the earth. And uh, wow, and you are becoming so clear, Aries, on what it is that you're put on this earth to do. This is huge for you. This is really big. This is a, and it, it, it's not a small summons that's coming up within you. This is big, but it's becoming clear to you. It's like you're not, it's not like you're wavering, like what I should be doing. You're becoming very clear of what you're put on this earth to do. Um, whoa. Um, very, very big guys. Very big. So, well, I got to tell you, you, uh, you're, it's just the universe says, honey, keep going. You just keep going, okay? You're going to know what this is, guys. Note your comments below. And smash that like button, guys. Let me know if this resonates with you, okay? Um, let's go ahead to week three and see what comes out for you. Oh, this is so beautiful. And week three, what do we get? Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles coming through here. And completion, the world. Wow, a whole new world is opening up for you. I feel that there has maybe been deceit in the past uh, of a, or, or uh, some sort of deceit. I shouldn't say in the past, but there's been some sort of deceit that you're getting a message from and it opens up a whole new world for you. Okay. Now this could be unfairness in the workplace, unfairness in a relationship. So you're getting some sort of message coming through. Someone's going to be delivering a message, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, and it's going to open up a whole new world for you. Uh, but it's also this information is going to open up a world where you see the world differently, where you could be, you could be at a distance from someone in some way, but this is saying is that you've got a whole new world to experience here. Wow. Wow. This could be that um, the page of pentacles is about a new manifestation of an enterprise. You could have had adversity in the past of doing so, but whatever it is that you've manifested, there's just a, it's coming to in week three, it's coming through to you and it, it changes your world. It creates travel. You're going to, could be traveling. You could be doing something of the sort. Let me get a clarification on this page of pentacles, this new manifestation. You guys, it could be a new job, a new relationship, a new situation, whatever it is, it's something that you've already manifested. It was already building up within you. Okay. You already had a vision of it. What do we get? It has to do with your stability. Like you know what you're going to be put on to do, on this worth to do. It's almost as if your life purpose blooms out before you and it's so clear for you. And it's foundational and amazing. It's going to give you stability in your life. So if you're worried if you were let go, if you were uh, ending of a situation of some sort and something ended, don't worry. You, The universe is going to pick you up and move you and put you exactly where you're supposed to be. And this doesn't happen often. This is a gift. Okay. A big gift. What else do we get? Um, because I got the, it's going to affect, a, bring a solid, strong, solid foundation. This manifestation brings a solid foundation in your stability. So if you're worried about your finances, you're going to be good. All right. Anything else on week three? Follow your bliss. Color your world. I don't know if Aquarius got this or if Taurus got this. Check your moon rising and Venus, uh, guys. Get ready to paint your world the way you've always wanted it to be. Right. You have got an opportunity. There's no fear based decisions here. It's like a new direction and your heart is meeting your mind and it's coming together and it's moving forward. Do what inspires you guys. Do what inspires you. You're going to be rewarded, rewarded majorly. 
okay? This is what's coming through. What is your, uh, what is your uh, wisdom card for week three coming up for Aries? What do we got? Wow, you're gonna be a legacy of light. You guys, you, look at this. Look at this woman that's soaking in all this light. You're put on this earth to do something grand. And it has to do with changing the air, the energy around you and being able to clear that and help others do the same. And you are going to create a legacy and it has to do with light, the energy. A legacy that brings light into this world, right? And you're going to leave a legacy as it pertains to that. It's a 53 card reducing to an eight and it's going to balance you. You bring balance into this world, okay? Um, this is, this is huge, guys, a huge, huge shift, okay? So this is saying is that um, you are being very guided towards some sort of spiritual guidance for yourself, all right? Uh, you, 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 this is about following the instruction and activation of the divine and your life mission, all right? Note your comments, guys. And your personal growth and your, your, your spiritual path is helping humanity evolve all right and you're acknowledged you are being you're being spotlighted for this all right and it, it's 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 like to bring light to this earth right and um yeah this is what's coming through guys this is what i'm getting so there's a divine awakening that is happening for you and your path is being cleared for the reason this is confirmation. If there's a relationship issue that's arising from you now, um, you know, it, 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 it's like um, it's your own personal healing, but also the emotional legacy of your ancestral lines. You're healing that, right? You may want to do yoga. You may journal a lot. You might go through subconscious pattern clearing. You may meditate. Um, but you are releasing an ancestral inheritance and you are shining the dark, the light onto the darkness and you're transmuting it and bringing it to light and showing humanity how to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is really beautiful. You're stepping into the consciousness of love and you're showing others how to do the same. Pivotal guys, pivotal. Let's move into week four, all right? Let's move into week four. Beautiful Aries. Note your comments, guys, below, all right? And smash your like button if it resonates with you, right? Ace of Swords, clarity. Wow. Decision-making you're going through. Wow. And uh, no more delays, all right? Bottom of the deck, Ace of Rods. Inspiration and creation is beginning right now. It's going in, it's, it's happening, all right? It's already happening. Ace of Swords, power, victory, and clarity over a decision. No more delays, okay? The hangman is upright, not upside down. He's been enlightened, right? This is exactly what I told you guys. You're being clear on what you're supposed to do moving forward. And uh, this is clarity, no more delays in the decision. You are free to roam the skies, to travel, to do whatever it is that you want. I don't know why I'm getting that. I get free, you're free to roam the cabin, right? To, you are free, you've already taken flight. I'm gonna pull a, another card on this and see what else, what the wellness cards have to say for you here. What do we get? Giving and receiving. Everything is reciprocity, is energetic reciprocity, right? Giving and receiving and doing random acts of love and kindness. Uh, you're sharing love with others. Others are sharing love to you. Mm. Now your final card in terms of your, your wisdom that your, your guides want you to know in the fourth week. What do we get for Aries? Wow, this is powerful. Fire and ice. Yeah, it's like the opposites, right? There's a lot of passion here. It's a 37 card. A lot of passion. So fire and ice is, is coming through here. It's like the, almost like the dark, there's fire within you, right? You've got that, that fire energy within you. It's some sort of communication and passion. This is communication, throat chakra. This is passion that leaves you grounded, like your expression leaves you grounded, right? And uh, it's like you're becoming so, so clear, okay? The art of becoming uh, of you, right? And it's, uh, 
gosh, you guys, it's like a, you've got an opportunity. You've got an opportunity to to lead, to move forward, and to break the past, right? If you are like in a conflict, like on spiritually, what you should do next, it's going to come to you. So don't worry. Okay. So that's what, that's what I want to let you know. There's going to be a clear direction that's going to rise out of this. Okay. There's clarity out of fire and ice, right? Right. So any relationship matter that regards a decision, wait until you have clarity in your heart. Before you push away or push closer, it's time to wait. There's, there's things that have to be revealed yet. Let it, let it come to its surface, okay, guys? Only when your heart speaks clearly, then act and move forward on what is truthful for you, okay? Guys, I'm going to end it there. Let me know if this resonates. Note your comments below. This could be a good month for you. Give me a good year. All right, guys. Namaste.